Okay, boys and girls, we've talked about the Ontario RTAC tube and its modifications before. I figured I would do my part two and final kind of uh, discussion about the modifications that I've underdone, talking about my favorite modification that I have done to this blade. So before we jump into that, let's talk about the modifications that I did to this blade before or originally. So of course, I had a custom Kydex sheath made for it and still really love this sheath. It looks pretty awesome in this blue carbon fiber uh, Kydex sheath by RK Custom Sheaths. Then I added a lanyard, and in the last one, I had also removed the coating off of the spine and sharpened the spine so that I could strike ferro rods and use it as a scraping implement. So let's discuss the other modifications I have made to the blade itself. So outside of the... So after I removed the coating on the spine of the blade, I decided that it was still pretty shiny and pretty bright on the back, so I blued the back of it, though unfortunately it has gotten a little bit rusty, um, so I'm going to have to clean that up with some steel wool, but I did blue the spine of it to give it a little bit more of, or just to reduce that steely shine, and I also did the same to the blade, so the blade also got a little bit rusty looking too, and also the Artac 2 here and the Ontario Knife Company right there. Didn't go quite as expected for the blue job, but I did try, and that was kind of the end results. So there was that, and then lastly what I did, and probably one of my favorite modifications that I made to this blade, as I alluded in my last modification update video, was that I wanted to add some contouring to the handle, or not so much contouring, but extra grip to the handle. So the stock, um, our tack handles were very plain, you know, there's nothing really for traction outside of the contouring of the micarta. So what I did was, and I tried to, as faithfully as possible, replicate my um, buck thug in its kind of cuts to its micarta. So all I did was about 45 degree slant cuts, and then I did two close, one spaced out, one spaced out, and then two kind of close. As you can tell, they are definitely done by hand. They are not absolutely perfect, and the handle is a little bit dirty itself, but overall they do actually add to the traction of the handle and give the blade a little bit of personality, as well as, like I said, increasing the grip on the handle itself, especially when it is wet. Um, aside from that, I did put some open-offs on the handle because after all the sanding and filing of the micarta, it kind of made the uh, handle look a little bit roughed up, and so I decided I would make it look more presentable by uh, just putting a little bit of uh, open-offs back on the handle so that it would be a little bit better and heck, make it a little bit more rain or water resistant. So that is the essential modifications to the RTAC. As so you guys can see there, um, like I said, I definitely need to take like I said, I definitely need to take some steel wool back over the spine here because it looks a little bit rusty, but you guys can see the blue underneath the rust, hopefully, if the camera decides to focus. Uh, so, that is the basic mods to this thing, and overall, I'm pretty happy with how the whole package turned out. The Artac is one of those really fun knives because you can get it for such a reasonable price that you don't necessarily feel bad at, you know, making modifications to the blade and making it really your own. And, of course, I could have gone the route of just getting custom handles, but I actually like these handles. I just wanted to add some extra grip to them. So making those cuts is what made the most sense to me. Like I said, it wasn't a super crazy modification, and I tried to be as good as I could uh, with the angles. I, got, I think I got most of them pretty well, but, uh, you know, they're obviously not absolutely perfect. But anyways, guys, that is my RTAC 2 personalized for me and uh, kind of how I think that this blade should be uh, if I was going to use it or if or when I use it out in the wilderness. As you guys can see, I've definitely been playing around with this blade, having fun with it, and uh, it's actually just been a lot of fun to use and to field in the wilderness. So, yeah, that's all I really have to say about my RTAC 2 and my favorite modification to the RTAC 2. So, as always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.